Soos genoem, keir ek vanochtend met Andele Matukane en sy is net een inspiratie op haar eie. Andele, welcome to Groot Plaas. Thank you. I, I really want you to introduce yourself because I think what you are doing in the agricultural sphere mm. is just amazing. Tell me about Farmer's Choice. What and how, how are you approaching agriculture? Ooh. <laughs> it's a big question, <laughs> but you've got the platform. Yeah. Um, so, I mean... We all know it hasn't been a huge thing for female yeah. or for women to be in the agricultural space. Mm. But it simply starts with one seed. There we go. So I had to start somewhere mm. and gradually be in the space that I am today. Mm. So basically, Farmer's Choice is an agricultural business, which um, is doing many things in the agricultural space, mm. which... Um, includes the um, mixed farming, mm. which I mean, one of the well known one now, it's the rooftop farming. Yes. And part of it is um, agricultural trainings. Mm. So that's the nutshell of what Farmer's Choice does. And yeah, it's led by a, a woman. woman. I love that. I am so excited that rooftop farming is actually becoming a thing in South Africa. Mm. Because obviously, we've, I've seen it overseas, and you are actually doing it. So explain to me, you are at the, uh, currently on the roof at Menlin. Um, yes. Just paint that picture to me. I mean, how big and how are you doing it? Um, but also, more importantly, what is your specific approach when it comes to how you are doing what you're doing? Okay, so just... Um, I'll take you back a little yeah. bit. Um, myself, I'm a qualified agriculturalist yeah. and a farmer. Oh, wonderful. So I've been in the um, open field farming space. Mm -hmm. So I got to understand how open field works. Mm. And eventually, like you said, you've seen rooftop farming elsewhere. Yes. And for me, it was quite an interest. For instance, we're in Gauteng where there's like little land to use. Yes and rooftop farming made sense. Because mm. we're talking about climate change, we're talking about greening our buildings, we're talking mm. about greening our spaces. So, I mean, there's a lot of spaces that we have around Houteng which are not used. Yes. And part of it for me was to um, sort of reuse those neglected spaces mm. and greening them. Mm. So, I mean, Main Lane is one of our biggest shopping center. Mm. And um, it has a lot of parking. Yes. Which, I mean, as much as we can try and go to the mall, mm. we can We're never not going to fill it up. So, <laughs> We're not going to fill it up with cars. So, I mean, part of it for me, it was greening mm. up the mall mm. and having to introduce it in Pretoria as mm. one of the first. It was something huge wow. and something great. And I'm glad most people are now getting used to the fact that we can actually do rooftop farming rather than going after the land. Absolutely. Now I'm thinking when you had to go and see, let, let's say you had to approach the, well, you approach the, the mall managers, for instance. How did they take that pitch? Because now you're coming. It's one thing saying, okay, I'm going to start a vegetable garden on this, yeah. uh, behind the house or so and so. But I want, to do a, I want to have a very big vegetable garden on yeah. your roof. Mm -hmm. How was that taken initially so or like, received? Like I said, um, being in an open, mm. open field, I mean to say, mm. and most people being used to the fact that when you're talking about farming, yes. you're talking about open field. Yeah. Um, getting to the centre and pitching out the thing. It was like, you crazy, where have you seen what this What are you thing? talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Where? So the funny part about it is, so you know you go meetings after meetings yes. and meetings after meetings. Mm. And at this one point, somebody was like, are you going to bring a tractor into the building? A tractor into the building. And I'm and the funny like, part about it is that you get to explain what yes. hydroponic is yes. and how hydroponic works. Mm. And you find somebody coming to you and be like, are you bringing in a tractor? <laughs> and and like, then you laugh and you're, you're like, no. Nope. <laughs> and somebody comes and be like, are you going to be bringing in soil? Nope. Like, nope. 
Yeah. Like, isn't this going to be heavy on the building? What if the building collapse mm. and, 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 and? Like, no. So I think part of it is having to in, um, educate our Absolutely. people to say, as much as we're used to farming in the land, mm. there's also farming using water and mm. other sorts of things that we can use. But, yeah, it wasn't a nice journey to be yeah. at this point. Yes. So there's this news article that talks about you. So the, And we laughed about this just now. The, the headline, Tired of Waiting on Land, mm. Andile it Takes to the Skies. And what you just said now, a, part, a, a big part of what you're doing, mm. it comes with education. Yeah. And that's also, there's a different part of responsibility combined with that as well. Because now you're saying, you're showing what you're doing. You are farming yeah. on rooftops, which is wonderful. But you're also educating people about a whole different part of a way you can farm. Yeah. You know, farming doesn't need to be just in the soil. Most definitely. Yes. And talking about that, um, I'm a mentor as well. Mm. So before being where I am, I've worked for ARC mm. as an assistant to a plant pathology. So, I mean, plant pathologists, most of the time they're in a lab or in offices. Mm. There's minimum work in their field, but there's a lot. Yes. So one of the graduates calls and be like, um, can you help me out? I want to be in the space that you're in. Mm. I want to be a pathology. I want to work in the lab and, and, and. <laughs> so I said to her, you need to understand the field work before you can Absolutely. understand. She's like, no, I want to be. Mm. So I'm like, okay, let's make a deal. Mm. I'll take you to a field. And if you survive the field, mm. I'll take you to the lab yes. side. She agreed. Mm. And down the line, she's like, no, I no longer want to go to the lab. I want to be in the field. the field. That's wonderful. So, I mean, a lot of people need to understand that there's different sections mm. within the agricultural space, mm. which in the business, you need to understand all of them so that you'll be able to move around them. Mm, mm. That's mm. very important, absolutely. And when it comes to your setup, um, obviously it starts, I'm, I'm sure you had a massive dream in your head and now the pictures and the puzzles are coming <laughs> together and you're like, oh yes, this is what I want. And I've seen the pictures, it's just amazing, your plants. So what are you specializing? And, and I almost want to know, what's the benefits of the way you're farming? How, how is it easier or... Yeah, just benefits. <laughs> um, so the nice thing, and mm. I've had people saying, so the people that I work with, yeah. is that we're in a shopping center. So our market is direct to the center. That's amazing. That's amazing. It goes down yes. immediately. So part of the benefits is that we've cut down some of the logistics. That's so Instead cool. of us driving out to deliver, we just deliver inside, which That's... is downstairs. Wow. And um, part of it is with the system that we have, it's an NFT system. So we easily recirculate our water. Mm. So instead of just irrigating and wasting water, we mm. sort of recirculate our water every now and then. Mm. So it's part of us saving up in water usage. Mm. And so far, we've been um, chemical free. That's really, really cool. Because, I mean, we had a lot of people who were talking about how conscious they are with what they eat. Mm, mm. So I know being an open field farmer, mm. I always add fertilizer, pesticides and yes. all those things. But currently I've been able to farm without all of those things. So yeah, but part of the biggest mm, benefit mm. is having to service the shopping center. I must say, while you talk, it just, it seems like the most logic thing to me, mm. um, being on a rooftop, servicing what's below you. Yeah. And it almost feels like, I mean, there, there's more saying, saying the sky's the limit, but the, the rooftop soul is also unlimited. I mean, how big is the dream from here on? <laughs> dream big. How big is it? <laughs> so... I mean, the plan, mm. the plan is to sort of make it um, 
if 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 the dream yes. if I dream awake, not yes. sleeping. Yes. Um, it's to have it as one of the biggest rooftop um, in Africa. That's amazing. And commercialize it. Mm. So yeah. And you are doing vegetables, right? Yes. What, what's what's the the specialties? Um, spinach. <laughs> Where are we at the moment? When you're saying spinach, you remind me of yeah. my my first article. I was called the spinach. Lady. I actually read it. They called you the spinach lady. I'm like. Mm. How would I feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it's something to be proud. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm currently doing leafy greens and herbs. Okay. So because of the system that I'm using, mm. it's mostly flat tables. So it allows me to grow almost all the leafy greens that you can mm. think of. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. But... The plan is also to diversify and do other stuff. That's the wonderful thing, I think, about, you know, doing something we spoke earlier, which is quite disruptive. It's, you know, if you, if you look in this, uh, talk in the sense of it's, it's done in a different way than it's been usually. So it's disruptive and it yeah. makes me very excited. But it's almost as if there's no rules, you know. <laughs> it, you can do anything. You can start farming with anything there because you can think it out, right? That, yeah. That's yeah. something, that's something to be, except sheeps, uh, sheep and, and chickens, obviously. Um, or, or how? <laughs> the with, with, okay. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Because I mean, if, if, and most of the time mm. the rooftop is quiet. Yes. So chickens needs a little bit of quiet space. Yes. We can. I see something. I see something <laughs> brewing here. I see something brewing here. Please just invite me when when the first chickens and cattle. Um, Andile, we've got one minute left. I just quickly want to give you the opportunity. Um, why do you love farming so much? I mean, farming in the sense the way you're doing it. Mm -hmm. What is what is the why for you? Why are you doing it? I believe that every South African or every human being should have access to affordable, fresh food. Yes. So part of the reason is, it for me, mm. personally, it was to understand how our food is produced. Mm. But for all of us, it's to ensure that we all have access to affordable food. That's really, and that, that's all answer we need. Because if, um, if that isn't the dream, I mean, what are we doing here? Accessible, cheap. Fresh fruit. Yeah. And Ili, thank you so much. This has been such a pleasure and I can't wait to see you grow. I can't wait to see you grow, literally grow. So um, thank you for your time and just thank you for visiting us. Thank you for having me. Thank you that you have been in the I and you see each other Monday. We are going to go to the next I hope it's a good new week and um, be happy with you, because the great advice of you is to be happy with you. Have a good day. Tot ziens.